we are now on our way to Greystones where we are meeting up with Harold. All we know is that he is growing and selling broccoli sprouts locally in his community. I think we're gonna have a fantastic time. So many parts of this story is total coincidence. I got connected to Harold by Atlas, a guy I met randomly at the Lost Creator house in Bali in January. Robin, hello mate, great to connect. Love the video, love the energy, you're very kind. If you want to shoot content, absolutely, I'm humbled. But if you just want to hang out, because I'm sure there are much more interesting people to speak to. Harold's message resonated with me and I felt I had to explore this person and what he's all about. In this film, I'm going to bring you along for the experience that me and Isaac had going to Greystones. Harold, we're coming for you if we get there alive. In theory, you're about to see magic in real life. Abra, Kadabra? It's been a long time. <laughs> I'm in slow motion. Morning. Morning. I got some coffee. We're ready. Ready. We packed our cameras, we got on a plane to Dublin and hoped that the enormous production van that we rented would be big enough to fit all the gear we brought along. I have been driving once on the left side of the road, but it was very, very long ago. We could have just taken a bus. We actually got wristbands when we rented the car that says drive on left. And then and there's an accident number on it too. So I'm used to driving automatic and I'm used to driving on the right side. They were driving manually on the left side. This is so weird. <laughs> so we headed straight to Greystones, 45 minutes south of Dublin, and there was just something about the roundabouts. I'm used to driving on the right side, which is the right side. Now I'm driving on the wrong side, which is the left side. Why couldn't we all just drive on the right side? Because it makes so much more sense than driving on the wrong side, which is the left side. But I'm actually sitting on the right side, which is the wrong side. So it's all very, very confusing. <laughs> when we arrived, we were a bit confused at first, but apparently their whole family lives on the same compound together in a small commune. We thought we trespassed, but then Harold showed up and gracefully showed us to our parking spot. Hey, hey. Hello. Hello. In fact, if you want to, you can just go there if you want, if it's easier, because it's, yeah. it's a bit fiddly there. I'm having... Nice yeah. to meet you. This is my family as well, so you're, you're in the All same right. place here. Hey, okay. Zach, how's it good. going, dude? It's good. How are you? Nice. Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, this is a dream. Oh, good to be and, here. And you are yeah. in, do you realise, you're in a 50% Swedish commune. This is my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, the grandma, the family and us. Yeah. And there's uh, mums from Stockholm, yeah? Yeah, and so half Swedish, half Swedish. Like, it's welcome destiny. home, it's yes, destiny. Exactly, good. welcome home, yeah, yeah. You paid a lot of money to not leave, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, no vacation here. Harold woke us up at five in the morning and said we were running late and we had about five minutes to get ready and go to the beach. I guarantee you won't regret this, even though you might have been regretting getting up about 10 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's the coffee. I don't know if it will be the sea. But I'm quietly confident you'll be happy you did this. I also hope there's lots of people there, but it's quite early, so we'll see. Hopefully. It's super, super early in the morning and we are on our way to the sea to catch the sun first sunlight and swim and it's nine degrees outside and probably nine degrees in the water too Boop. and there was the curb <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be totally liable for the wheels of this car when we return it you are in greystones this is quite a famous place in ireland for starting sea swimming eight years ago two people came down and now you'll see it's 5 30 a.m and there's about 20 people here <laughs> When we arrived at the beach at 5.10 in the morning, my first thought was, wow, 
This is so beautiful. Obviously, you do this every day. We do it pretty much every day. When I didn't have a baby, I did it every day. My second thought was, oh no, this is going to be so cold. But everyone else was getting into the water, so there was nothing to wait for. It's a very communal, spiritual experience. And it's just fun. It's just so fun. Hi, Robin. Hi, Isaac. Morning. <laughs> Oh, we just got lucky. I look past that. Huh? Yeah. How are you, buddy? <laughs> Did you sleep well? Yeah. 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 Hey, nice, nice the cameras, man. Nice equipment. Are you ready for swimming? Um, I don't think you're ever ready, especially in the morning. Like, the last thing I want to do is get into that cold <laughs> water. <laughs> But uh, I know how good I feel afterwards. And it's kind of a ritual that happens day, day in, day out, that you don't want to get in. And then you come out and you're like, oh, it's wonderful. It's like bathing in gratitude. Bathing in gratitude. Emptying, but very much filling as well. How's it feeling? Very, very refreshing. But my feet are killing me right now. I, I, that was so nice. Oh my god, it was absolutely hey man. So we are, so we've just finished our swim, we're going to go up and do some breath work. So this is Neil, but he's been in there as you can tell like 10 minutes. We call him Neil the Seal, because he can stay in for like 30 minutes. Good morning Greystones, good morning, good morning, good morning. Do you know everyone here? Everyone knows everyone here. I'd love to tell you that I'm a big name, but we all know each other. We're all equals. Within about a week, I knew 100 people, which is quite exhausting in the most beautiful way, because you genuinely have to say hello, good morning, and remember people's names. Living in big cities, you get away with not learning people's names, but there's something so important in that humanization. What's your name again? Rob Robin. 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 Yeah. Yeah. What's your mate's name? Oh, the next coincidence of this trip is that Harold's best friends are the Happy Pear Twins, who run the Happy Pear Cafe. I came across these guys on the Somebody Feed Phil episode a couple of years ago, and I have been following them ever since. So when I understood that they were actually in the same town and that they were best friends... We're breaking in, are we? We're breaking in, exactly, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have anyone break into a cafe and let it be a barista, because they know what they're doing, actually, when they get there, yeah? <laughs> I think it's 20 years old, started by two, two men who wanted to promote eating more veg. I was hoping. I was what better way to promote veg than make good food? Yeah. So, uh, come in, I taste it. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's warm and nice. First window you see. Jack, yes. Raj, do we get here first. now? Do you want water or are we going to sit Love windows. Except on computers. Uh, I've done my fair share of breathworks and meditations before, but never in a setting like this, almost breaking into a cafe, going up upstairs and sitting there while all the chairs are still up on the tables and just bringing out your cushions and go for it. Oh, you just sit down, man. you don't, whatever you want. But it was an incredible experience. Uh, like before we do a, before we do a breathwork, yeah, we're gonna do a board stop. You inhale, exhale, you pinch your nose on the exhale. So if you can hold your breath for 25 seconds, that means your board score is good. But if you can hold your breath for 40 seconds, that means your, your board score is really good. So it's dysfunctional breathing. During the sleep, if you are breathing through the mouth and or during daytime when you are on your phone or reading, you're like, that means your board score is less than 25 seconds. So there's ways to improve it, okay? okay. So all we're gonna do is listen to your breath for one minute. You can close your eyes if you want, you don't have to. And stayed after one minute, we'll do the ball spot. So just connect with your breathing. Even if we didn't talk to each other while we did it, there was some sort of bond created between us. Now I'm sleepy again. <laughs> so strong. Uh, did you enjoy it? It's no worries. Yeah. Nice, nice. I do, I do this every day, by the way. And then to top the whole thing off, we got a fresh, nice cup of coffee from the barista himself, Raj. Ah, there you go. There you go. I have a hand. 
So how's life there, mom? Yeah. So did the Happy Pear Cafe live up to my expectations? Well, you will see in the next episode. Just no, just kidding. Their food was amazing. The staff working there was really friendly and there was a special atmosphere in the room. So first thing in the morning I come in here. I got a dial in the coffee machine. Oh, nice! Wow. See, that was under pressure, they got a nice arm. Just for the camera. Yanni, just about a can, is it? Yes, please. So, you do amazing coffee, you do cold swims, you do breath work. What else do you do? We do, yeah, cold swim, breath work, coffee. Uh, we go to the farm on Saturday, like a vegetable farm, happy pear farm. And then um, we do kind of workouts three or four times a week. Yeah, we just try to be in the community, you know. And now we're doing this big swim. Christian, are you still training? I think we came back to the Happy Pear Cafe for 90% of the meals we had while we were staying in Greystones. I think that says almost all of it. from Harold. He just never shuts up about the sprouts. Oh, hey lads, how's it going? What are you talking about there? What? You were behind the boxes all the time? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, back to sprouts. Did you know <laughs> broccoli sprouts have a hundred times more sulforaphane than real broccoli? I say real broccoli, normal broccoli, because real broccoli should be the most nutritious broccoli. Isn't that right, Robin? You eating mm. chewing gum there? Yes, broccoli sprout think, chewing gum. Do you think, I was gonna say, do you think broccoli sprout chewing gum would make sense? <laughs> be nice. Yeah, sure. Welcome. Firstly, can we just admire the nature before we go into the technology? I feel like... I feel like a dog. Hey MTV. Welcome to my sprout crib. Come on in. Do you like what I've done with the place? We've kept it minimalist. We've kept it uh, quite white, quite neutral. We have this clinical finish to every piece of furniture. I'm only joking. We're in the container. This has to be a sterile place. This is where we soak our broccoli seeds. Filming at the sprout farm brought some funny surprises. <laughs> First of all, I had no idea what the sprouts looked like when they were growing, if they were growing like plants, but apparently they grow in a bucket and they look kind of crappy when they grow in the bucket. Just wondering, have you ever had a, a leak in a bucket? So we had to improvise and we found other stuff at the farm that was interesting and visual. Harold showed us around and we got some really good material out of it. Okay, I like that. Yeah, you're right. Because even just the stress underneath of like thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. So how we do this? We do this. Yeah, so I mean, I guess, I guess we can just walk, walk through the process. Now yeah. we're going to see how the, the sprout the capsules process. are made. Yeah, yeah absolutely, um, yes. Yeah, so Harold's going to walk us through the process and it, I think it's going to be really interesting. Can you start with, okay, so now we're going to make sprout, okay, broccoli yeah. sprout capsules. Right, so now we're going to make broccoli sprout capsules. Can you give me a countdown, Stas? Yeah. Give me a countdown from three. Okay, three, two, one, go. My dream is that in two years, or one year even, every single person I love wakes up and consumes a transparent, traceable supplement that we've made. High quality, organic, real food supplement. The average person in the UK spends up to 800 to 1,000 pounds on supplements per year, but probably never thinks about making their own. I'll win some color later. That looks so stupid, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> we are using our <clears throat> huge production van to swap lenses. 
We're gonna put this 1835 on instead. Makes more sense in here. And maybe we'll change back later. What do we think about this? We think it's beautiful. But I'm doing the lazy version now where I'm not wearing any headphones. I'm looking at the sound. She sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. And this is what they look like. To my left, we have broccoli sprints. How long has it been since you yeah. planted these? Yep, so the broccoli seeds would have been soaked five days ago and then watered a couple times a day. How's your shoulder? <laughs> Strong. Hi, guys. Nice. Nice. I went to the gym here yesterday, so I can carry the camera like never before. Beautiful. Here they are. And he's going to pay for this as well. Nothing's free in this world. I think it's actually really good. Yeah? It's like a peppery, pepperminty thing. Peppery, mustardy we get often. Yeah. yeah. I love it. So how many do you want to buy? Do you want the whole bucket? Or? I'll take this with me. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, enjoy. Thank you. Have a good one. Oh. <laughs> I went to the gym yesterday and I told you I was strong, but I also am very, very stiff. <laughs> <laughs> hey! hey what, do we, what do we need to do about that? <laughs> Bit more yoga, a few more sprouts. We have rain and we have sunshine and then we have rain and then we have sunshine and then we have clouds and then we have rain and sun. And I'm so tired right now after a whole day of filming and going up at 5 a.m. Swimming in the ocean, but life is good. I think we're heading to the Happy Pear Farm. Is that right? That's or... correct. So Harold, this is part of the Happy Pear Empire? This is part of the, the Happy Pear community, correct. <laughs> we obviously yeah. do it in partnership with them. They let us use some of their space for our business. And I'm very grateful that we're friends because they are very supportive on many levels and they give me great advice and they're just they're just good people. Every single person at Happy Pair cares about the mission, not about the business. In fact, they wouldn't let you call it an empire because they don't see it that way. They see it as a mission, a community, yeah. a family. It's and a, I really need it's a, it's a good empire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> B-roll time. It's B-roll time. Is B-roll the fun part of making a dock? because you kind of just watch the world go by and you don't have to manufacture scenes. It's uh, both, yeah. I think, because there's nothing driving the story. You have to create it. Ah, yeah, 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 and yeah. sometimes that's fun when you have something. But if it's about a, an IT company selling like online products, it's really yeah. hard because the only thing you can do is like people <laughs> tapping away at keyboards. And They're just like, they get don't look, don't look. It gets very, very <laughs> boring don't after a while. <laughs> Farming is a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit more, uh, a bit more real. Oh, well, thank you. That is so you wanna, nice. You want to film some? <laughs> the Happy Pair Twins, Stephen and Dave, are doing a really beautiful thing where they have their cafe and they try to grow all of their no, vegetables what themselves. We're what, are we letting, oh, we, what, you, are we letting uh, oxygen in or what are we doing? Uh, you were breaking up with your scope. What does that mean though? Uh, you're a bit oh, I'm a bit drunk, right. sorry. I'm not driving straight today. Yeah, all right. So we went to the farm and we got a bit of an education on the no digging method that I had never before heard of. So we're applying a no dig method, which would be often considered regenerative. So. In the soil, there's this thing known as the mycelium network, which is the fungal pathways or nature's data cable where they share nutrients, where they communicate, and where they can work symbiotically. And when you till or, or break up the soil, you release the carbon, you break up these microorganism communities, and you break up the mycelium network. So by us putting cardboard down, it means we don't have to break up the soil. It was really cool to see how they use the cardboard and how they really think about the soil and how that improves the quality of their vegetables that they grow. So it's a great way of maintaining the mycelium network, bringing biodiversity and more resilience to the food. There'll always be one bed which will be no dig and one bed which will be traditional kind of till or 
you know, where the soil's been broken up. And the no-dig one will always have a greater yield of about 10 to 15%. That's awesome. Yeah. Why, why doesn't everybody do this? Because it's unconventional and people are often afraid of change. But they will in time when they see there's a greater yield. You know, it's often said that before you grow plants, you should grow soil. And this is a great way of bringing more nutrition to your soil. All nutrients come from the soil. The more healthier your soil, the healthier your veg. So. They were like, taste this and taste this, taste that, taste everything. And I broke off a piece of onion that was growing in the field and I just put it in, in my mouth. And this was the sweetest onion I have ever tasted. It was incredible and just so unexpected. We have um, a food production facility called Pearville where we make our pestos and hummuses and everything. So this is just recycled cardboard that we use. So it's a great way of minimizing our closed loop with cardboard. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Cool. Thank you. Not a bother, Robin. Any? Ask about anything, Robin. You know where? Yeah. I'm, I'm happy talking crap anytime. What are you filming for? Uh, this is a film about community, about about uh, the food system. Oh, okay. About following passions. Yeah. Health. Human and planetary health. Okay. Yeah. Nice. We're back here at the beach where we started this day early, early in the morning with the sunrise going up there. Right now, 12 hours later, it's a completely different place. But people are still swimming in this ice cold water and it's just amazing. This town has a really good vibe to it. And yeah, we like it here. We've had tons of coffee and we're about to go to a pizza party. What can go wrong? I know that Ireland is already known for its community-centered people and that everybody loves to talk. But experiencing it like this gave me a whole new perspective on the whole thing. They say hello to everyone, even if they don't know each other. This is something that's very unusual for me as a Swede, where we just kind of ignore each other if we don't feel like talking at the moment. And I think everybody should do it. And I will start by trying to say hello to everyone I meet and greet them with a smile. Hello, Harold. Dear. Yo. Has Robin been a good guest? Robin has been a delight. The only thing I'm upset about is he wouldn't sleep in the bed with me. Yeah. He, uh, he wanted the Sorry. sofa. Next time. But, uh, but he's very cuddly. He's, yeah. he's happy to have cuddles. But you insisted that your baby and your wife should be in your bed. This is true, yeah. this is true. I said you could join us, but yeah. hey, yeah. this is getting weird now, but I mean it, he's a wonderful <laughs> man. I feel like I've known you for bloody years. Yeah, and, um, it's been pretty intense, so yeah. we're, we're very efficient getting to know each other. That's true, that's yeah. true. And yeah, yeah. the proof that this is serendipity is I didn't know he was Swedish until a week ago. My wife's family's Swedish. You came, you spoke Swedish, you had meals. We had even had a Swedish birthday without knowing any of this. Yeah. And we're going to be in Stockholm in two weeks. So we're hoping yeah. we're going to hang out then. We will. Love it. Love it, man. Love it. Yeah! Wow. <laughs> Happy birthday, bro!